Hey guys, what's up? So I have another special effects app that I want to show you guys, and also a website that you guys might uh, find useful when making an iMovie movie. So uh, let's check those out. Okay, I'll start off here at the App Store. Time and time and again, I'm surprised that a lot of people don't know about the related feature in the App Store. Let's go here. So this is Gun Movie Effects, right? It's made by Outer Spacious Software. It's up there. And uh, if you guys haven't downloaded this, you guys should check it out. It's got, you know, a bunch of muzzle flashes, got sound effects, and it has uh, other things like uh, bullet whizzes and stuff like that that you guys might find useful when uh, making a video that requires a, a lot of shooting and stuff. Okay, well, if you guys click on the related feature here, it'll take you to every other app that Outer Spacious Software makes. So I was like, well, Gun Movie FX people should make some pretty cool other apps, right? So on this one it's called Exploder Cam. So click on it. Since I already downloaded I can just open it, but uh, here's a quick review about what they have. Yeah, they have blo bloody explosions and all this stuff. It seems all great, so... Okay, once uh, you open it... It'll take you to the Exploder Cam page. Okay, so it's got an explosion effect, bloody explosion effects, purple energy, green plasma, transporter, energy bomb, electric energy, and star geyser. I like the star geyser and uh, the transporter. You guys should download when you download it, you check check them all out. But for now, let's just use the the transporter one. Okay, so uh, this is how. It, uh, j just for reference, uh, action movie effects also has a transporter. Uh, uh, special effects, but it's not as easy to do because, because it, you need to do it all in one recording and uh, with this one it, it allows you to do it in two clips so uh, let's kinda go over how it's done starting camera okay so you see, I'll use my elite here you see you got this elite in the foreground, you got the other one in the background Okay, what you're going to do is start recording, and then the little red lines are going to start filling up. Once the fifth one's set up, it's all good to go. Okay, what you want to do is stop it. Okay, and it stops. Okay, since I need to make this continuous, you're kind of going to see what you're kind of going to see what I'm going to do. Uh, but uh, obviously, if you're making your own movie, you can edit and crop myself running around to go get the other one and put them over here. But you get the idea. Hold on. So, see the background, you want, just want to keep it uh, as original as possible. Okay, so you match it back to back up to the where it used to be, and uh, you start recording again. And once it's finished, you stop. This should take a few seconds. Once it finishes building the movie, it should look like the the elite pretty much went from one end of the the screen to the other. All right, now let's check out how it worked out. And the little red lines are gonna start filling up. Once the fifth one's set up, it's all good to go. Okay. Stop. And once it's finished. See? Stop. So, so that was pretty cool, right? It went from. Let's watch, let's watch that again. The red lines are gonna start filling up. Once the fifth one's set up. You guys can sit, check out what's going go. on. My god, the Elise is no longer in the background, he's in the foreground. So that's a cool app. You guys should check it out. And then uh, also, the, the web page that I wanted to talk to you guys about is called footagecrate.com. 
I know a lot of you guys already know what what it's what it is and where we can find it and stuff, but this is for the people who don't know. All right, so let's go check it out. Um, open up your browser and go to footagecrate.com. I already have it saved here on my um, uh, bookmark, so I'll just click it there. And this is it. Uh, you get royalty-free videos, royalty-free sound effects, royalty-free graphics. Got HD products, got awesome tutorials and other links to other web pages that might have stuff like this that you want. Um, Alright, uh, so let's go into the free video effects that everybody wants, right? Uh, so we got muzzle flashes, you got blood in 3D, fire explosions, dust and smoke, stock footage, and other. Let's go check out other. Uh, so yeah, here we've got like a cool spiral. Let's see what that would look like. I've already used this website a couple of times and uh, I've downloaded a bunch of sounds so this is cool you could use it in your the beginning of a sci-fi video or something All right. and then you got this uh, old-school clock countdown which is super awesome right gives it an old-school effect still pretty legit with some sound effects be awesome okay and then uh, you got some fast clouds. You you can green screen yourself flying, dude. This would be awesome. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. You know, they have a ton of other stuff, but uh, let's go download something so you guys could see how more or less how it would it would work. So uh, here, let's check out this muzzle flash. Uh, gun mo gun movie effects kind of made all this irrelevant already. These this is a uh, pre keyed footage, and uh, you can drag and drop into your in your timeline. But uh, uh, a lot of the stuff on gun movie effects is just, just seems pretty standard. So uh, these 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 seem to have like a little more flair to them. They kind of look cooler, and I'll show you what I mean. Right, let's check this one. I already downloaded this one, but let me just show you guys how it works. It's like a, a frontal view of a machine gun. I don't know if you guys can see the detail on that, but obviously when you go visit the website, you will. Okay, so let's say I want this one, so let's let's go to Download Machine Gun. It'll come up here to your little download arrow. Okay, so let's download. Oh shit, I'm almost out of battery. <laughs> Hopefully I can do this pretty quick. Let's see. Okay, it's downloading, it's downloading, and once it's finished downloading, it should be available in your iMovie room. Okay, not yet. Okay, there it was. Okay, so this is your little preview of your in your quick time. Press play. Frontal view. Okay. So let's close this up. Minimize this. So we can come back to it in a second. And then let's open up iMovie. Uh, I don't really have any shots of me holding a gun or anything, but uh, I guess we'll try and find somewhere where we can put this. Oh, look, here, here's one that I already have. Okay, so what you want to do is go to File, go to Import Movies, and then with this on your downloads, it should be the very first one on top. <clears throat> so double click that. And as soon as you finish doing that, it'll be available here, just like that. Okay, so now what you want is to get some footage or some uh, an image that you want your machine gun fire. Uh, since I don't have any th footage of myself shooting, we'll make this jar of peanut butter shoot. By the way, if you guys haven't tried this stuff, you should. It's freaking awesome. Okay, so you drag your clip down here, and then you go back to wherever it is that you have your clip. I'm sure a lot of you guys know how to do this already, but just showing the people who don't. Put in here, and what you want to do 
is do picture in picture. See what this will do is a, it'll allow you to since this, all this is transparent. Look, you don't have to green screen anything. Else. It's already here. So let's pretend this GIF is holding a gun. And he's shooting from there, and from here you can size it, make it bigger, make it smaller, position it, angle it, whatever, and, uh, and pretty much you're done. The one drawback to this is that you won't know. It won't show that it's been in there. Like for instance, like watch. If I press play from your timeline, nothing's going to happen. Whoa! Well, that's the first time that's happened. <laughs> but yeah, uh, in some of the some of the other ones, it it won't show like it's firing. It'll just be like a still image. And uh, if that happens, just have faith that it's going to come out, and it should come out like that after you finish rendering and, and making your movie and stuff and that's pretty much it for for this, that's just exactly how you do it it looks like GIF's mad <laughs> okay so uh... let's go, let's go back to the website something else that I've done here is also downloaded some of the sounds course you guys know I've seen some videos on YouTube and they're pretty good and I just think that they could have had it a little more they could have been a little better if they had some sound effects like these are all all the the stuff that they have to download and you can use them in your YouTube videos even if they're monetized so uh, press play so that's just that one um, you guys check out this page. I'm sure you guys can find a lot of other stuff. Like you can go into, they have like they have them separated by action music, drama, feel good, fantasy, electronic, video games, and stuff like that. Um, so what you want to do is once you find the 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 the, the, the audio clipping that you want, you just download, and then where it will be available is here. I'm not going to use this page anymore. So let's open up iMovie again. So once you download your your audio clipping, you just click on your little music thing here, your music note, and uh, you would go down here, and it would be in recently added. So as soon as you download from that website, they come here, recently added, and see these are all the ones that I downloaded from uh, the website uh, not too long ago, and it's uh, kind of what they are. You know, the ones that come stock with iMovie are pretty good. But these are pretty good, too. And I got a bunch of them, too. So, uh, hopefully you guys have found my video some sort of asset. And uh, check out the website and the app, and I think you guys will love it. Um, you guys found this, these videos to be any help. Uh, subscribe and I got a couple of them a couple more coming out soon so one of them is how to make green screen super freaking easy man it's ridiculous but uh, alright guys I'll talk to you later